Hello, fellow traders, tis I, the Rumpled One, coming to you Wednesday, November the 3rd, the year's 2021. Let's talk trading. Indicators, TRO, Dynamic, SR, Support Resistance. As always, these videos are for educational purposes only. Your results may differ from mine. And just a reminder, when you're trading, always have your risk management in place. Never lose more than you're willing to lose on any one particular trade. Now, today, we had some news come out. And that's why I'm making the video a little bit later, because I wanted to take advantage of this. And I got to put a few pips in my pocket. And I have the TRO dynamic support resistance indicator loaded on the chart here. Right here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to turn the gauge on. We're going to set the periods to 34. Normally, it defaults to 5. And we're going to change the line width to 3. And so you see the diamonds got bigger. Um, why 34? Because you know the three level ZZ indicator. That's the one that this is simulating when you set it to 34. So you'd have a three ball here and you probably have a three ball here. And so how do you use this? And I did just put out a video a few weeks ago, but I made a little uh, update to the uh, display because I did have some of the support mixed in with the resistance. So I separated and we've got the range in between. And I now looked up what the F stands for. It's dynamic fib support resistance. Because uh, what this will do is this number here is the percent in range where the price is compared to the diamond above and the diamond below. So you can see here it's at the 86.8% FIB retrace. And I like to start my FIBs at the bottom zero and it's the top 100 and I don't change them. And I know that's wrong according to some people, but that's the way I do it. And that's the way I'm going to continue to do it because it works for me. And that's one of the things in trading. You have to find what works for you. Now, back to the indicator. What this is doing is it's looking for the highest high and lowest low over the last 34 bars. And then usually price will do something, retrace. So you can see here it made a high and it retraced, made a low, actually probably made a low first, made a high, retraced, then it pushed down, pushed down. And so let me explain what these mean. So right now we had a dynamic support. We had 10 pushes. So you see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Every time it makes a low, a new low from when it first starts, it starts counting the pushes. Then it also tells you where it's breaking out from. So you see here, 36577 is right here and it's broken out. Now the current supports at 42.2, which is right here. And price right now is 25.7 pips above that support. And the breakout was 15 pips. So I know that's a lot of information and here's how you use it. You wanna see approximately 15 or more pips on the breakout sometimes 12 works but i and definitely wait for at least 10 but i usually like to try and sit on my hands for 15. Um, then i look for a reversal and as you can see here if you use the um lowest high that would have triggered you in there then the next lowest high would have triggered you in right there and that's what I like to do. And that's when I like to take 
those trades. So you want to get in, hopefully you want to get in usually somewhere between the last two uh, levels here. And so for resistance, as you can see right now, it's pushing up. And what happens is it'll set it to zero until the next bar and you get horizontal. And then it'll start and then it will show you the count. So right now it's pushing up. And we're going to wait and you can see here it's still pushing up pushing up still pushing up there it goes so now you can see it but it just pushed up higher again but it looked like we had about 11 pips on that push up so you can see here price is struggling let that m1 candle close And we'll watch the trade happen here. Candle's going to close in 10 seconds. Just pushed up a little bit higher. And it pushed up again. So waiting for some horizontal resistance to get put in here. And you see we had 21 pips on the breakout. And we had six pushes. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this would be a spot where you could definitely look for an entry. So once again, you can see we're five pips below the dynamic resistance. We're at the 86, 87 percent retrace area. So usually, what is it, 60? What is it, 61.8 or 68 point? I I forget what those fib numbers are. 
off the top of my head, I'm pretty sure it's 68 something and 32 something, somewhere around those levels. But six pushes, 21 pips, that's definitely um, a level to look to see for a reversal. And if you look left, you see right now, if it breaks this resistance, then it'll probably continue down. Otherwise, this resistance could turn into support. And just so you know, I uploaded the uh, most recent version of TRO Dynamic Support Resistance to Cresslick.com. So you guys can go over there and get the latest version. And if you're wondering, I actually um, put a trade on uh, and actually, I got in a tad bit early, as you can see. And this is where I get my name, Mr. Uh, inflection Point, because you can see Price got right there and then <laughs> turned around. And that happens to me a lot. It's kind of funny, actually. But we'll just have to see what it does which is all we can do now. So we manage our trade. Now, I showed you those settings. Now, normally, we, when you load the indicator, it uses the setting of five. So if I just reset it, this simulates the one ball. And you can see the default is not to have the gauge up. And a couple other features here. Um, there's the idiot mode. And then there's the control by cell display. And you can see here, we've put in some new dynamic support right at this level. And if you're wondering, the Sonic is what's keeping track of the trades. Now that's an indicator I didn't write. And on my version, I made a couple of modifications. So if you look in the TRO build, I think it's 1350 file now, you can uh, get the same one that um, I use. And the rest of those indicators I have off just for so you can see what's going on with just this one indicator here. So as you can see, these levels get put in a lot quicker than the 34. But for the trading, the reversal trading, I definitely like using the 34. And once again, you have to remember, when you see one of these diamonds print, that means price is breaking out of a previous level. So you don't want to reverse when you first see it. That's why the display counts the pushes and counts the uh, number of pips it's been pushed. So, fellow traders... Um, I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have any questions, feel free to ask, of course. And remember, it doesn't matter what the indicators are that are on your screen because it's not what you trade, it's how you trade it. So go out there and drain the banks. This is the Rumpled One, over and out. And don't forget to subscribe and like the video, give it a thumbs up, hit the bell so you get notified, and post the link to the video all over those other trading forums.